the Rita Trail, Day 2, Stony Swamp to Marble Forest. Here we are, Day 2. Kind of noisy here. We're just leaving a construction zone, but we're heading back to the forest, which is a good thing. Uh, our bodies are aching. <laughs> Comments? Yeah, <laughs> that's about all I got. <laughs> We had a big day yesterday. No elevation gain, but we we're just pounding the concrete. The sun was beating us up, but not bad today. We'll see you all today. What today brings? Get out of here. I did much like uh, passing the road construction. Made lots of noises with the big trucks, but eventually we got into the forest, which was wonderful for the legs, body, and soul. A nice change from yesterday asphalt jungle. But the forest didn't last long. We were back on the road eventually and uh, pounding on the asphalt. Uh, not my favorite hiking. But we did get some joy. In the ditches beside the highway were these nice little mallard ducks. They joined us on the hike. Well, here we are. We are just north of Richmond, we think. And we're on this kind of farmer's dirt road, ATV trail or something. It's not too bad. It's kind of gentle on the feet. But I will tell you, but don't tell anybody else. I'm freaking tired. <laughs> it's our second day and the first day we put about 30 kilometers in, mostly on asphalt and it's kind of beat us up a little bit. We've got about uh, 10, 15 kilometers in this morning. Not feeling too bad, but uh, it'll be a nice break tonight when we're done. Well, the nice trail just turned into a wet, mucky bog. It's a bit of a disaster. We're able to navigate around most of it, but it's a mess. Well, the decisions, decisions. Uh, can we go in the fort or the field beside us? Well, early on we discovered that the trail was totally swamped, so we backtracked a tad, then we hiked uh, the farmer field that paralleled the trail. But that wasn't the end of it. There was more flooding ahead of us. Well, you might, you might this, go get here. this is not looking like a good trail. Yeah, over there it's not looking so bad. Uh, on the right side? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm looking at. So what do you think, Chris? Uh, we can just hope that we can make it without getting soaked. I, I'm I think, not happy about it. No, I think hope is good, but I don't think reality is going to be part of that. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a water guy. <laughs> I right, put it this way: I'm not a wet feet guy. You didn't bring a PDF? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or that's a PFD. Personal flotation device. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go. I'm going to video you falling into the water. Yeah, so someone built some kind of walkway here for us. Oh man. Yes. How come we didn't bring them again? <laughs> I think someone told you that we wasn't gonna need it for it. After leaving the swamped ATV trails, uh, we were back on the highways. More asphalt, more pounding on the feet. Even though hiking on the highway isn't as comfortable on the feet and it's not as soothing as the soul as uh, hiking in the backwoods, it does have its charms. Uh, some of the uh, homesteads along the roadway uh, had this artwork, which was rather enjoyable and was worth a few photos. Hear that noise? That means it's break time. Chris sets it so every hour on the hour we stop and have a break. And we usually put our feet up for about 10 minutes or so. Anyway, we're done for the day. We're just waiting for our ride back to civilization and we're not gonna camp out tonight. The, uh, we, have, we have access to a, 
comfortable bed, so we're gonna take advantage of that. So day two of the Rideau Trail was from Stony Swamp to the Marlboro Forest.